I'm exactly at the midpoint of the two-year uh, diploma in relationship counselling. And how did I get here? Kind of by accident. Uh, I started with a small introductory course, counselling skills in, in central London, level two CPCAB, and which I'd really, I actually signed up uh, about three days before it started. And I think subconsciously, I was looking for something to improve my uh, the way that I interacted, mostly with my uh, late teenage kids. And I just got hooked uh, and it went from there, really. So two years later, I guess, I started the diploma with Relate. The reason I was drawn to the Relate course in particular, it's taught in 20 blocks over two years at weekends. Uh, and I work full time. Uh, so I was able to accommodate it without really changing my work pattern. My favorite part of the course is probably the other people on the course. And, and, and our tutor is also very good. So even though it's weekends and most of us are working full time, honestly, it's the highlight of the month and, you know, in many ways. It's, it's about an hour's drive to, to the place we train. And um, even though it's the weekend, we have had a tough week. It's, it's such an exciting um, experience to just go deeper and deeper into the studies. And you know, a year into our two-year course, we really bonded very closely as a group because I think by the point by the point you get to level starting a level four course, you realize that you learn a lot from each other um, and that's such a critical learning element. but I've loved writing the essays <laughs> uh, which which is um, which is interesting. I really enjoyed that part of it. I, I really enjoy the the theory side of it. Um, I suppose initially the skills sessions are challenging because I went from level two and three where it was one-to-one -one counseling and suddenly you're in a triad with your fellow classmates who are acting roles. And so you've got to try and navigate uh, learning the skills in this kind of slightly artificial environment. But um, we've all got pretty good at that now. And... Um, it's a combination of we kind of support each other, but then sometimes you get thrown a question, um, and you learn you always learn something you know from a difficult question. So we've got a level of trust now that we can ask daft questions that will come up in, in real life. I think the advice I would humbly offer is to consider that it is a role where you deal with conflict uh, and a high emotion. Um, there can be a lot of anger. And there's a lot of serious assessment of safeguarding uh, and things to be considered. Um, so if if um, you're concerned about being in a room with very angry people, then it may not be for you. I think the second thing I would say is that I would also really seriously think about doing your own therapy. I started my own therapy in level three and I've been doing it for about nine months and it's been really, really useful because um, I think there are, there are different components to this course in my mind. There's kind of three elements, I think. There's the, um, there's the skills and procedures side of it. So there's learning how to relate to work and keep people safe and uh, how the service runs. And then there's the kind of the, the skills, the actual time with clients. And then there's the theory and the assignment side of it. So there's quite different element. There's a lot of self-reflection and learning new things and considering how it might be applied. And then for me, uh, especially I, I think uh, important is the self-work that you do. So uh, that's another piece of advice I would I would give is, is to really consider getting your own therapy because you'll learn a lot about what it's like to be a client and you'll see another therapist working and you'll you'll pick up you'll pick up things that are very useful for you. That relates it's an integrative modality but i think the predominant theories are psychodynamic and systemic but um there are certainly uh, people with a broad range of experience and i've noticed that people i've met who are cancerous have a really solid grounding in, in, in one of those or both of those but they'll also have done you know a course on solution focused therapy uh, you know all, all sorts of different approaches to it so I think it's definitely a place that uh, you can develop a large toolbox uh, as, as, a, as a therapist. Um, so yeah, no, it, it's, it's, a, it's a broad church, I think.